Get ready for the smackdown Get ready for the smackdown How you gonna react when you put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown Alright guys Move on to the next fight, uh, fight number 27. One more to go, guys. And finally, finally, section 20 comes to an end. Uh, but let's get him to the combatants in this one, shall we? We have uh, Icon, one of Dwayne McDuffie's creations, versus Blue Marvel from Marvel Comics and uh, this fight is brought to you requested by Vernon Hayes Vernon Hayes uh, and I'm happy to do this one uh, very much indeed and these are two characters that I actually love alright so let's uh, talk about uh, Icon first uh, Icon is an alien. I, basically, you can consider him, both of these characters, Superman-like characters. Uh, but Icon, his real name is Arnis, a.k.a. August Freeman. And he is from a race of alien known as the uh, Termanian alien race. He crash-landed on Earth during in the American South during the time of slavery. Their, their uh, appropriate date is 18. 39. Uh, he was raised as a slave but escaped, you know, through the, the Underground Railroad. And later on, you know, throughout the years, he would go by the name of, you know, August Freeman, but he would add it like a different name to like August Freeman the fourth, the third. Nobody knew he was the same guy. Um, but he was, he is a very, very powerful, powerful, powerful. Uh, being um, it's in his DNA um, this guy has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman he knocked Superman into a planet one time and Superman still felt that it's like okay if you can punch Superman he feels it you're getting respect um, he is a great creation by a great man that we've lost and his physiology makes him that way, makes him very powerful, similar to a Kryptonian because of the radiation. It, it, his race is similar to Kryptonians in a sense. Basically, that's pretty much the way it look to look at it. Um, he has superhuman strength. He has superhuman speed, agility. Uh, he superhuman reflexes. He he thinks so fast, like like Flash. His stamina is great. He can fly. All his senses are enhanced. Um, and he has some abilities that Superman doesn't have, you know, um, but, you know, invulnerability, accelerated healing, um, he can manipulate protons that, uh, Superman can't do that. Um, he can shoot concussive beams, he can shoot all different types of beams that, like I said, Superman can't do. Um, he has a sort of heat, heat, heat vision, uh... And he's also, without even that, in his when he's not a superhero, he's also a great businessman. He's a billionaire, self-made billionaire. He's a pretty much a celebrity because his uh, law firm is like high-profiled. Um, he's great in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's multilingual. He knows English, fluent English, and he knows several different languages throughout the galaxy. And uh, he's very much a philanthropist as well he's he's all about the community um, uh, August is a great character nonetheless so we move on to his combatant in this we go to the Marvel Universe which probably a not a lot of not a lot of people know about but should know about because he's a he's probably one of the most powerful is characters in the Marvel Universe and we're talking mr. Adam Berkshire Bersh Bersh uh, aka Lou 
Marvel. Blue Marvel uh, first was introduced in a mini series um, called Adam, Legend of Blue Marvel. And uh, in this, Adam uh, Brashear was just a, he was a uh, Marine, a U.S. Marine, so he served his country. But he also was a hero, and he was a hero during the 60s. And at that time, he used to wear a mask, so nobody knew he was African American. When his mask got destroyed by his uh, his arch enemy, the Anti Man, people saw who he really was, and it was really a shock. You know, people didn't want to see uh, at that time. You got to remember the time. Um, you know, and uh, he's an African American superhero during the 60s, and uh, so he pretty much. He retired he was pressured by the government to retire so he did uh, and it was kind of sad to see that his story is very very good you, you, I, I recommend anybody to pick up his series uh, but his powers is uh, as a result of being mutated by radiation generated from the negative zone yeah that negative zone um, he is pretty much considered if if he was to be a threat he is considered an alpha level threat and he was given that by Captain America and Tony Stark that's how powerful this guy is he can manipulate antimatter he has concussion beams force beams uh, stun beams optic blasts um, he's super strong he's he's uh, he's uh, nearly invulnerable he's nine invulnerable because he's similar to like the sentry and yeah he's able to go toe to toe with characters like that his strength is in the leagues of sentry the hulk thor you name it um he is also he like i said he can heal fast he is a super genius as well um he's got his own he created his own like fortress of solitude as well uh he has superhuman reflexes agility this guy is just, like I said, another version of Superman, but having abilities that Superman doesn't. Um, and he's he's also a little he's a little bit he's a little bit seasoned because of his his time. So both of these characters are. Now, moving on to a battle with these two characters, I don't see this lasting too long because a I feel that this would be a fight of mistaken identity or something like that. A typical routine that we most see with most of these hero fights is I don't know you, uh, you don't know me, but in a sense parallel to each other because they would know right off the bat because of their two highly intelligent men, they would know right off the bat something's not right. You know, why are we fighting? Um, I can see these guys throwing blows at each other. They're feeling it, but come right back at each other but I don't see the fight lasting too long I would see that they they would feel like we have a lot in common uh, I would rather see a team up between these characters I would also see that they would consider each other like in a sense brothers uh, brothers in arms also see each other as you know we have a similar powers in a sense uh, but I don't see it lasting too long I see it right off the bat why are we doing this? Let's stop. Let's stop this. You know, but that's just me. I see it as a draw. They they will just say stop. That's just me. But what about you guys? Icon or Blue Marvel? And thank uh, Vern Hayes for the fight. I move on to the final fight. Fight number 28 for section 20 and... On to the next.